Sarah, thank you so much for joining me on the video today. I hope you are all having a spectacular day. And for those of you who are in the US, I hope in the last several days you've had a beautiful Thanksgiving holiday. And if you partake in Black Friday, although I think that is worldwide now, so go USA for spearheading consumerism. But I hope you've enjoyed your uh, holiday weekend and are recovering from all the family, friends, and food, and are getting back into your training as we've, uh, uh, we approach December 1st which is, wow, time flies. But I'm here talking about Zwift, trying to get myself slowly ready for a ride. As you probably noticed, I am a little worse for wear. I'm in this lovely immobilizing apparatus because in a kind of one in a million shot on Thanksgiving, and a shit story I'll probably share in a subsequent video, I have broken my shoulder. So the humerus bone, which has two tuberosities on the end, I will show a picture of that. Um, Basically, the one on the outer edge, which is called the greater uh, tuberosity, where kind of the rotator cuff, the labrum, and the cartilage all kind of comes in and connects and exposes to uh, the outside and works kind of in that motion to make the shoulder the beautiful joint and series of systems that it is. Um, it has broken. So I have broken what I believe is a four centimeter piece uh, clean through. Don't quote me on the uh, measurement because I was a little bit ride over in pain. I mean, I could be four millimeters, I don't know, but I think she said four centimeters, which is not uh, large enough to require surgery at hand. And right now, even though the bone dislocated and then came back into place pretty much immediately, that bone did stay where it belongs. So there is something called displacement where that piece may move and no longer line up where it belongs, which would prevent it from healing properly, which often requires surgery to pin it down and put it where it needs to go for the bone's natural healing mechanism to fuse that piece back together. So right now, for that purpose, I don't require surgery. There isn't a suspicion of rotator cuff, cartilage, or labral tears at this point, but I haven't had any imagery for that. So my uh, journey to see my orthopedic specialist and go through rehabilitation is very early on. Uh, in the uh, foreseeable future though, for about the next six weeks or so, it's expected that this is going to be completely immobilized so this piece doesn't move and this all heals as intended, after which I will have to work on strength and range of motion again. So that kind of puts a damper on my training. Swimming is pretty much out of the question. I don't know yet about being able to run with it immobilized. I don't know what the impact would do. That is a conversation with my doctor that I intend to have. And in terms of cycling, luckily it won't be super impactful during this kind of base phase season and being able to at least sit upright with this tied up or even lean on my right arm, uh, I think I can still continue to do some reasonable work that's not super high-end work on the bike that will be effective to keep me in a good condition for, at the very least, cycling. And that brings us to our friend Zwift again. I uh, wanted to include a little bit of a quick tip, trick, or hack for those of you who might be newer to Zwift or those of you who might not have kind of delved into this, but it's basically how to customize your avatar, your, the representation of you in the game, and you may see the jerseys, right? There's a lot of jerseys in the game now, more than there have been in the past. There are Zwift related jerseys, there are um, branded jerseys, there are race brand jerseys, there are achievement jerseys, there are jerseys everywhere. And perhaps you're early enough in the game where you don't have a whole lot of options. Maybe you've got the plain orange one and the bumblebee and you're just, it's not a reflection of you or the colors you like, and, and you have seen some really cool jerseys out on the road that are more uh, reflective of your interests or things that you like or color schemes, and you wish you could unlock those, but you just don't know how. So I'm gonna give you a way to unlock a lot of jerseys for free. It won't cost you any drops. It doesn't make you ride for any period of time. It is literally just typing a couple buttons and opening. I think I'm gonna include about 40 different jerseys that you can unlock for free. So let's start by talking about basic jerseys here. Actually, here's a good example. I know that the focus probably wouldn't be great on the screen behind me, but there's a gentleman in front of me with a blue Zwift jersey. That is a jersey that unlocks at a particular level. Those particular unlockable jerseys, I cannot have you unlock manually right now from my research. It is not possible to do that. You just have to hit the achievement to get that jersey. So a level 20 jersey cannot be unlocked by somebody who's at level five. You have to hit level 20 to get that jersey. The same goes for a lot of the challenges or the um, 
achievements within the game. So let's say if right now we're still in November, the Movember jersey, you need to complete the 9.9 .9 hours of riding. Uh, the Zwift Academy jersey, you need to complete and graduate the Academy to get that jersey. There's nothing that I can provide to you that will help you to unlock that other than doing the challenge and, and doing the work basically. But you may have seen some jersey that might be unlockable in group rides that you just can't make or races that you were working during uh, the time period or just haven't seen any way to unlock it because perhaps it was something that was unlockable two years ago and you weren't on Zwift then. So I have a list of jerseys here. Let's talk about how you access them first. Um, for those of you who might not be familiar, you hit menu, you go to your garage here. I'm sorry that this is probably a little blurry, but um, it's pretty easy to follow along. You've got your garage, your customizability for your bikes, your wheels, your person, helmets, glasses, jerseys, which is what we're gonna talk about. And you can probably see in here that I have several rows of jerseys here, quite a few of them. And as I kind of alluded to here, here's the unlockable ones that obviously will show up as I achieve those levels. So there are quite a few in here that I will be including for you, things like the Alienware jersey, um, Tour of the Baton Kill, GCN jersey, which all of a sudden my avatar is wearing right now, Training Peaks, uh, Tax, Garmin, Cyclops, uh, tons of just different jerseys, the Tour California, uh, a lot of these are open. Uh, I'm gonna put my preferred jersey back on. Elite is in here. Uh, there are quite a few jerseys in here that I will give you the ability to unlock by something called promo codes. So these are really easy to use. They're just one word promotional code. Sometimes they have a hyphen or um, a period in them. And you hit the letter P on your keyboard. It opens your dialog box for promo code. And if you type in nonsense, it will say promo code not valid. Press escape to cancel. If you type in a valid promo code, we will use Go GCN, which is a very highly coveted jersey, the GCN jersey, because those guys are hilarious. And it will change from orange to blue and say promo code valid, press enter to apply. And you just basically have it typed in and you hit enter. Now, typically what will happen when you hit enter is you will get the orange banner with the white stripe that says achievement unlocked. It'll tell you you've unlocked the jersey, give you a little bit of a preview of the jersey. It is not happening here because I've already unlocked the jersey, so it won't hit the achievement again. But I did in the last week or so uh, type all of these promo codes I'm including in uh, the box and they've all showed up as the blue valid promo codes. So as of the end of uh, November 2019, these are all working promo codes for Jersey Unlocks. If you go to try one of these and one of them doesn't work, please list them in the comments below so I could remove them from the list. And if you have a promo code that I haven't listed here and you wanna share it with the community, again, place it in the comments below and I will add it to the show notes. So in perpetuity, we can keep this list updated for the community. Also, if you have any cool promo codes, maybe for something other than jerseys, include it here. I will add it to the show notes so it becomes something that as people catch this video, months or years down the line, we'll have a nice updated list that everybody can share. So you can kind of see to start this video, hey look, there's George Bush hanging out. I don't know why he's there. But uh, you can kind of see, we have this huge list here that I've started. I think it's maybe somewhere around 35 or so. Um, I'm gonna paste those down in the show notes below so that you guys can uh, either print them out or copy and paste them into your own uh, Zwift app, whether it's Apple TV, on mobile, or on your PC or Mac. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Please hit that thumbs up button if you, this has been helpful or you enjoyed this video, it does help the channel. Hit the thumbs down button if that's what you feel like doing. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like obnoxious notifications on your phone, whenever I get on this platform to show you something potentially useful, maybe not so much, please hit that little notification bell. Thank you again so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.